Okay, what's going on guys? And we're gonna be doing a presentation on the two U's. More specifically, we're gonna be talking about a very simplified version of neurology, your brain, um, and how the different functions in your brain can affect your decisions as a trader, your bottom line results as a trader. Um, and I think this is going to be informative and gonna give you some new ideas and some very practical things you can do to increase the probability of making profitable decisions and lower the probability of making silly errors. So the objective of this particular presentation is to educate on the different brain functions, specifically two brain functions, um, give you the tools to put the more advanced function in charge while trading um, and the one that's more responsible for survival, learn to quiet that down um, and ultimately help you make more money because I know that's why a lot of you guys and girls are here to get funded accounts, to scale these funded accounts, to get payouts, to um, continue to manage these. Um, all of these, you know, all of this money making is gonna be a result of having a clear trading plan and getting your mindset on point through watching my YouTube, through these lectures, through going through the 12 week challenge. So you can learn to manage yourself to consistently execute on the edge that's gonna yield you the profitability at the end of the day. Now, the two U's. Um, I'm not entirely sure if that's spelt correctly, but the two U's. Specifically, we're gonna be talking about the prefrontal cortex and the amygdala. Um, the prefrontal cortex or the limbic brain. Um, we're gonna break this up. Um, the diagram is not that essential, but I just wanna show you that it's two different functions of the brain responsible for two very different things. And we can put very simple things in place to activate and send blood glucose and oxygen to certain parts of the brain. Um, and we can do other things that send blood glucose and oxygen to other, the other part of the brain. And depending on what you're doing and your perceptions and how well structured you are, how process based you are, you're either going to activate the prefrontal cortex, which is more advanced, or if you're highly emotional, you're going to activate the amygdala, which is you know, the limbic system, which is highly emotional. One's going to put you in survival, one's going to put you in thrival. So there, there are things you can do that allow you to alter the biochemistry and allow you to activate different parts of your neurology. And this is proven now, it's, it's, not, it's not rocket science, it's very simple things you can do as a trader to get yourself in a proper state, to be able to be making decisions and be doing things from the more advanced parts of your brain. That's what this lecture is about. That's really what all my work's about. Um, especially the 12 week challenge where we get each of the nitty gritty parts down and give you the tools and exercises to ensure you're making strategic decisions. Now, the amygdala. This is the animal part of your brain. This is the emotional part of your brain. Um, Doctor, or sorry, Professor Steve Peters wrote a book called The Chimp Paradox, which I think is great. I think it's a great analogy of the difference between the amygdala and the prefrontal cortex. And he pretty much said that the amygdala can be analogized as the, as the chimp, the stronger, quicker uh, part of the brain that's gonna overpower the human um, when things are emotional. The amygdala is there for survival. It's there to keep you alive. Um, but like I've discussed in a lot of my lectures, um, we aren't faced, 99.9% .9 of the time, we aren't faced with survival, um, pure survival. We're not faced with life-threatening situations like our ancestors were. Now, you have to understand anthropologically there's the development of the brain. Thousands of years ago, our ancestors didn't really have a need for the prefrontal cortex necessarily. They didn't have those higher advanced centers because day to day they were just focused on survival. They were focused on running away from predator, seeking prey. But as society start to become more and more developed and we evolve past that, um, and you know we're not walking out of our, our homes or our apartments worried about necessarily being attacked by a predator or having to go chase a prey down on the street to make sure we have dinner. These aren't challenges we're faced with anymore. We just go to the, the local supermarket, the local shopping center, and we can buy food. Um, survival to a large degree has been taken care of nowadays. So if we don't learn to manage the amygdala, the survival responses, we're not gonna be thriving. We're gonna be caught in that survival response that a lot of our ancestors were, were caught in which was necessary thousands of years ago, but really day to day now isn't all that necessary, majority of the time. The amygdala fires quicker. It's more, it's, it's more the, the human brain never gets rid of things, it just builds new layers on top. This survival response is so deeply wired and rooted within us 
um, to ensure we survive. If a car is about to hit us, we have to see that as a bad event. We have to get cortisol and adrenaline up so we can go into a fight or flight response. So we get the hell out of there um, very quickly. It happens very quickly. So the amygdala is the, the quick fire response. And you've probably experienced this in trading, right? You take a loss and you feel yourself getting red hot and you feel the adrenaline, you feel the anger, um, or uh, a position looks like it's gonna go without you. You have FOMO and you feel those emotions, you feel the adrenaline, you feel the cortisol. These are all symptoms of not managing your perceptions, your expectations, your psychology, and activating the amygdala. Now, is it possible to completely quiet down the amygdala until it's never running us? No, absolutely not. It's always gonna be a part of our life, hence why it's important to manage the amygdala. Um, and I see a lot of people coming through the 12-week challenge saying, I hate the chimp part of me, I hate the animal part of me, I hate the amygdala. No, this thing keeps you alive. We should be grateful for it, but also learn to manage it so when it's not essential, we can start to transcend those and we can start doing deep, meaningful work and making process-based and strategic thought out decisions, which ultimately I'm gonna help you do. So the amygdala is very irrational, very emotional, right? It's run off fear and greed. It wants to avoid the pain of the past with fear and it wants to seek after the pleasure of the past with greed. Now, the prefrontal cortex, to contrast, is the human. It's the human part of the brain if you're gonna analogize it like Professor Steve Peters did. It's there for thrival. It's, it's there for strategic thinking, it's there for executive planning, it's there for thriving as a human being, not just surviving, right? Strategic thinking and decisions, that is what we need as a trader. We need to be able to make strategic decisions. Um, we need to be able to strategically think and we need to be able to plan, create processes and make rational, logical decisions, part of an edge, part of a probability model, right? The prefrontal cortex is balanced and poised in contrast to the amygdala. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Now, how does this affect your trading? Great question. Have you ever done something in your trading, looked back at it and wondered, why the hell did I do that? Right, that was completely and clearly irrational. Why on earth did I take that trade? Or why on earth did I not take that trade? Or why did I manage that way? Why did I get out early? Why did I get in early? Why did I risk so much? Why did I risk so little? These are all symptoms of amygdala-driven decisions, fear and greed. When your amygdala is, uh, you, when your amygdala is heightened, right, fear and greed prevails because we're going back to that survival response and our ancestors had to have that quick fear response of that's bad, I'm scared of that, to get adrenaline, cortisol up, to get out of there. Or oh, that's good, that's prey, that's food for me and my family. Greed, I only get that cortisol and adrenaline up so I can catch that prey. So whenever the amygdala is heightened, because we haven't done the three things I'm gonna show you at the end, um, we're gonna make irrational, silly decisions, mistakes. Um, and it's not, it's not a mistake, it's all, it's all trying to help you associate pain with, uh, with not uh, having a clear trading plan, not managing your expectations, so you can get back to that, you can get back to priority. So it's, it's, an, it's a natural feedback, but a lot of people don't know how to interpret it. But if we don't manage the amygdala, if we don't activate the prefrontal cortex, it's gonna affect decisions as a trader, it's gonna affect profitability, because we're gonna be making irrational decisions, trying to seek after the pleasure of winning, trying to avoid the pain of losing, which is gonna disrupt our edge, because ultimately our edge has both win and loss. Um, it's gonna make us emotional when we win, very, very elated when we win, which means we're gonna start projecting low quality setups into the market. It's gonna make us very depressed when we lose because now we're gonna be um, fearful to act again in the market when the market presents an opportunity. So the amygdala is gonna make us very emotional. It's gonna take us away from my trading plan. The problem here is that the amygdala is gonna be going to heighten your survival response, like I mentioned. It's gonna kick you into that fear and greed response um, as a result, traders are making irrational trades that aren't part of their plan out of FOMO, fear of missing out, out of greed, risking too much, risking too little, whatever it is, um, and it's gonna lead to non-profitable decisions over the long run. Examples of this, taking trades that aren't part of your plan, right? How many times have we taken a trade that isn't bloody part of our plan? I guarantee you that's because of a fear or greed response of the amygdala. Jumping into positions too quickly, FOMO. 
not taking positions out of fear, risking too much out of greed. Those are all symptoms of not managing the amygdala, okay? The solution here, so what's the solution we can put in place to manage the amygdala, to activate the prefrontal cortex, to start making more process-based decisions, to lower emotional volatilities in the market, to start making more money. All those things are a symptom of, or a result of managing the amygdala, the chimp, making and activating the prefrontal cortex, the human. The first thing here, I've said, I've, I've, I speak about this in every single one of my YouTube videos nearly, and we go into great detail in the 12 week challenge and how, I, how we can construct a seven figure trading plan step by step, have a clearly outlined mechanical trading plan and trading processes. Because where's, where, where there is a plan, where there's structure, you're less likely to leaving things up to second guessing emotional decisions in the moment. You have a clear trading plan, you have a clear structure, you've got a clear checklist, it takes a lot of the guesswork and emotion out of it. That's why surgeons, that's why pilots, they all have clear trading plans. Not trading plans, they have clear plans, they have clear checklists. Second, distinguish between process-based and outcome-based. Whenever we have expectations of all the profit we're gonna make, of the outcome, of all the pleasure we're gonna have by taking this position, we send blood glucose and oxygen into the amygdala, we heighten the amygdala out of a survival response, because that's literally us seeking after a prey that we wanna capture and we wanna eat and we wanna consume. That's how, the, that's how the brain's wired. We go into that survival response and we activate the amygdala because of the outcome-based pleasure expectations we have. And that takes us away from our processes and process-based decisions. So download the tool from the description below, the free Bulletproof Mindset tool, and start training yourself to go away and manage and quiet down and have awareness of outcome-based expectations so you can make more process-based decisions and you can set more process-based expectations. You have self-awareness in the moment that, you know what, no, I'm setting an unrealistic expectation in the market about the outcome and I'm gonna quiet that down and have self-awareness over that and I'm gonna go back to my trading plan. That tool's gonna to help you do that. It's gonna help you quiet down the amygdala and go back to the prefrontal cortex. Your amygdala is heightened when you're emotional. This is due to subconsciously stored data. More pleasure over pain to winning, more pain over pleasure to winning uh, to losing in the past. This is logged in the subconscious mind. And when we have something that triggers that, the amygdala comes online as well. Could be through an expectation like we just discussed, could be through other things as well. So managing this subconsciously stored data and learning to be neutral on the outcome like we've talked about in the previous lectures, being unattached by the outcome is crucial to quiet down the amygdala, activate the prefrontal cortex, make process-based decisions, make profitable decisions in the long run. Um, and this is covered in great detail in the 12-week challenge. This is the masterclass week five is so, uh, it, it, it explains this concept so deeply and it gives you the tool, it gives you the education, gives you the accountability to actually go through and do it so you start achieving brain change. It's not just an intellectual thing, it's actually gonna change your brain in that program. So if this is um, resonated with you, I encourage you to jump into the 12 week challenge and start using that principle that I talked about in week five. It will transform the way you make decisions in the market. You're gonna be more profitable, you're gonna be more long-term, you're gonna be more consistent in the long run. Um, so hopefully this opened your mind to some new ideas and gave you some tools and gave you some practical things you can do. Um, but I look forward to seeing you all in the next video.